Okay, hi, I'm gonna show you how to use screen to GIF. Just found this the other day. I've never made a GIF before. GIF as in graphic interchange format. And I found this uh, this site, practiced it a bit just a couple of hours ago. So, download, or there's a quick download version. So I'm gonna press on that. And let's see what happens. A small screen editor. What do you want to do with screen to GIF? I just want to open it. And last time it was quite fast. So here we are. Screen to GIF and open that. Should just take a second. Okay, screen to GIF start up. We've got a recorder, a webcam recorder, a board. We can start recording the drawings, not doing that editor. So that's after recording. So a recorder I want. And here we are. Okay, I'm going to delete away from that screen. And it's still there, that's handy. Move around. I'm going to delete what around here. I want something to tape. I'm going to do my um, my website. So let's have a look. Right. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to use this as an example. I've got to tape something. Now with this recorder, you grab the edges, you can resize by the way, do that there. Do that at the bottom as well. no, no at the top. In, out, how did I do it before? Oh yeah, there you are. So height ways as well. Okay. So, let's start here. I'm gonna press record. And off we go over here, screen to GIF. And those are the frames moving around there. So I'm going to move around. Easy to. I'm going to get the header in the picture. Easy to customize. Oop. Multi purpose R W D responsive wire design. Responsive web development with web design wireframes. Getting the headers in. JavaScript wireframes. Okay, so those were the headers. Let's stop that and I'm waiting a second, hopefully for the editor to come in. Okay, here we are. Screen to GIF editor. So the home tab is on. Applying overlay to frames. Apply over. It's I think it's all loading onto the uh, editor. So, there's all the different frames. And how many does it say? I think I think that might be the maximum, 261. So, maybe press playback. Play, maybe that will preview it. No movement, but I might have been on that bit for a while, and I was. It's basically recording, no sound, but into the format of a GIF. And it's continuing. So you'd want to probably move faster if you're making a shorter GIF. You want to move the recorder around faster. But you, maybe you can edit on this. We'll see as soon as this is finished.
could be handy. I've never made one of these before. Upload into things like Twitter, etc. Let me give it a go. Nine. Coming up to the end. I think it was two six one, and and it does or does it start again? No, it starts again. Right, it automatically starts again. So I'm going to pause that. Okay, so let's look at the edit features on that. Edit, delete, remove duplicates, um, reduce frame count, so you take some out, reverse movement, move left, right, override, transitions, so maybe a fade, fade in, fade out type of thing, slide. So a nice little editor really. What's the statistics I suppose? How many frames there were? Frame count, total duration, and the frame size. Image, maybe you can put things on there. A watermark. Maybe text, drawing, shapes, progress, so on, so on. <clears throat> okay, so I've done the little movement recording. How do I save? File. Um, save as. Save as, okay, here's some options. A GIF, video, images, APNG is a, just means a ping. A portable network graphic, project, or a Photoshop document. I would keep it as a GIF, there you are. Okay, what other options have I got down here? Load the file, don't upload. I want to sort of download. Um, as I said, done this earlier, so that's still there. You need a destination folder. So, see, so uses Damien to desktop demo. I deleted that my last demo, so I'm going to click on this again to create that folder. <clears throat> um, click, I'll create a new folder. Um, demo, I think it was called. And the name of the GIF can be full themes .gif. That's already there. I kept all that text in from the last time I'd done this. I'd done this earlier on today. I had problems how to save. And then on there. And then save. So bottom left corner preparing to save. And encoder comes up. So if you're saving a file, my, my destination was already up there. But if you're saving, you don't just put the file name in. It wants to know a folder and in what location. Is it in desktop? Is it in documents? So you need the full title. And let's see how long this takes.
and did another thing, I thought it was just finishing processing fit. I think last time it took about two minutes. Cap com uh, completed. 1.6 MB completed. Okay. So I'm going to come off all this. Are you on to exit? Yeah. And go to my desktop. Read it then. And there it is, <clears throat> it didn't show up in the folder, you've got to click on, and there it is for themes. Item type, GIF file, date modified, dimensions, and size. Okay, so click on that and see how it runs. Okay, a bit of a delay here, I mean, I don't know what's going on. Okay, so it's working, it's showing me the GIF in photos. So it's an actual GIF, not actually a video, but it's the movement, it's creating that. Pretty good. Okay, so all in all, lovely little editor there. Gonna have some fun with that later on. Do some better videos. That was just a first practice, but it sounds very good for free, downloadable screen to GIF editor.